one of the loveliest things about the celebration of that we've seen unfold over the last couple of days as well is that reflection of course Jubilee is a moment to reflect and look back at the past and we've really celebrated um, Elizabeth and Philip's wedding, a wonderful 73 years of marriage, those images I'm thinking that were projected onto the palace last night, some which we've never seen before that the Prince of Wales personally chose, many of them from his mother's younger life and that wonderful royal love affair that sustained so many years and really worth mentioning the Duke of Edinburgh because Prince Charles did last night, you know, the Queen's strength and stay, and this was one of the most enduring royal marriages of all. And this next section called the Coronation, and it comes with Brent-based group Mahogany. And Brent's actually was really badly affected by, by COVID-19, one of the epicenters of the first outbreak, and working on this, and having this to aim for has really given a tight-knit community a, a chance to rebuild. And it's inspired by Princess Elizabeth's coronation in 1953. And of course, she was famously, she was in a dream house in, in, in Safari in Kenya as a princess and came down as a queen. And we've got wonderful animal carnival costumes elephants, and giraffes, and flamingos. There's such a lot going on. The absolute flat points of it, I love it. A real sense of Africa on the mouth, it's incredible. And of course, the royal families had a, a close alliance and love for Africa and its people for many, many years. mobility scooters. I love it. Yeah, which is great. I mean, I just think there's, there is so much in this pageant and so much variety and so many thousands of people have been involved in, in putting it together and I love the fact that it embraces everything. Were you saying, Claire, there was very little or hardly any rehearsal for this? to rehearse too much actually, because how could you rehearse for something like this? It's this this is the, the one and only run. So, yes. And it's going it's going super well. I think they've tried as much as they can to rehearse in bits in you know different right. places obviously. But um yeah never never all together. But somewhere in Brent people would have seen all of these seen. animal costumes coming out of Brent whatever time and morning for what's going on. Centerpiece, this giant 3D wireframe bust of Her Majesty the Queen. And we've got the dancers in purple and white forming the, the coronation robe. And the giant gold orb. And the orb and scepter, sacred objects used during the, the ceremony of the coronation itself. Costumes and, and many, you know, different. <laughs> Prince Ryan words finding this bit really missing. <laughs> Prince is all as well. Lovely to see you all so animated. Yeah. Love to get to see that one, but maybe at the horse races. Yeah, the Princess Royal was at the Derby yesterday. Peter and Joan Phillips there too. And the Princess were representing the Queen, who obviously would have been there and would have loved to have been there. They would have been watching with, with huge interest. Even just that at the party they last night, Claire, didn't you? They're having fun. They're really enjoying themselves, and that's just lovely to see. And you can feel that all around the country, you know, that the, the mood can, can unite in a positive way, and everybody talking about the different elements of, of this weekend that they've uh, partaken in or watched or enjoyed and obviously lots of street parties going on today as well but this is the big street party. I think you can tell as well this particular piece is designed by 
two of the most important artists from the Notting Hill Carnival, and it really has that kind of that vibe, doesn't it? Well, Carnival Centre, you know, Clary Salandi and, and Carl Gabriel have, have been in charge of, of this. But the um, the young children from from Luton Primary School and Queens Park Community School involved, and then obviously older members as well in this. It, it's really stunning. And dressed as flowers of the Commonwealth, a group of dancers celebrating. You can hear the music with the message. And Princess, I'm clapping. She's really enjoying it. Really? Is that Savannah just behind the, the eldest of the oh, children? I think so. The grandchildren, yeah. yeah. It's been lovely to see all of the grandchildren, all of the great-grandchildren, sometimes almost overshadowing the Queen. Not quite. Little Prince Philly up on that balcony. That is one of the best memories of this GB, that's for sure. He's, he's great fun, Prince Louis. I think he's, he's loving it today. You know, having a little boogie of his own. And... Look at him there. Oh, and look behind Mike Timbrell. And Mayor and Lena are here, and I think Lucas might make an appearance as long as only 15 months old, but the third of Mike and Zara Tingle's children might just pop in. We were saying last night with Kirsty for, uh, for many of the children, last night we were in their first concert. That's quite the first concert to go to, isn't oh it? Oh my, it doesn't, it's not, how do you stop that? How do you stop that? 